Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac, ooh, ooh. I said cognac, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm a bubbly blonde, fabulously dressed to impress. One of a kind girl. I was brought into this world wrapped up in pearls. I love to mingle, though my husband reminds me I'm not single. I meet and greet both the famous and the elite. I ride in limousines drinking the finest champagne. Wearing fur, dazzling diamond jewelry, a girl can't complain. I live in upscale life, dining in the finest restaurants. Eating the best caviar for free. And no matter how much I eat cognac, ooh. A Crybaby Productions, darlings. The 22nd Annual Long Island International Film Expo happens July 12th through the 18th at the historic Belmore Movies. See over 160 films from all over the world, including films from Long Island. Enjoy informative panels, networking, filmmaker Q&As, and a star-studded awards ceremony, including Abigail Hawk, Kevin Brown, Jackie the Joke Man Martling, and Chris Roach. For full schedule, see you at the movies. Welcome back, darlings. I'm Cognac Bulalene, and we are here at the Long Island International Film Festival. And in just a moment, the stars will be walking on the red carpet. Keep watching, darlings. More interviews coming up. Pink champagne kisses. Welcome back, darlings. I'm Cognac Willalane, and we are here at the Long Island International Film Festival, and I'm here with one of the filmmakers. He's going to introduce himself and tell us what his film is all about. Uh, hi, my name is Alex Scrimger. I'm the creator, writer, executive producer of Eddie's uh, TV pilot starring Eddie McGee and George Went. And uh, we're very thrilled to be here, part of the Long Island International Film Expo. It's a great honor. Uh, Eddie is a local resident of Long Island and um, I, I grew up in Manhattan, so it's a big thrill for us to be here exhibiting our feel good comedy television show, our little feel good show with Big Heart. Sounds terrific. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about the synopsis of this story? Absolutely. Eddie's is about a fictional beach bar and grill in Venice, California, uh, about uh, starring Eddie McGee, uh, playing Eddie McGee, uh, a fictionalized version of himself. And uh, it's about his crazy staff that work for him and all the crazy, wacky locals and tourists that come in off the, uh, off the beach uh, because it's, it is set in Venice, California. There's certainly an eclectic... Is that where you filmed it in Venice, California? I'm going to be going to Cal... I'm uh, going to Hollywood in a couple of weeks, actually. Uh, yeah. It's before vacation. My cousin's getting married. Congratulations, yes. Uh, well, we had looked at different places around Venice, but in the end, we ended up shooting in Hermosa Beach, uh, doubles as Venice. Uh, we found just with noise and uh, population, crowd control it was a lot easier. I see. Is there a website we could go to find out more information? Sure, you can actually go to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash Eddie's TV show. And your name, again, as the director? Uh, no, the director is Michael Lang. Okay, you're the filmmaker. I'm the creator, writer, executive producer. And what is, tell us again your name? Uh, Alex Scrimger, S-C-R-Y-M-G-E-O-U-R. Fabulous. Break a leg, darling. I hope you win. Thank you so much. And we'll be back in a moment, darlings, with more interviews right here at the Long Island International Film Expo. Keep watching. Pink champagne kisses. Welcome. 
Welcome back, darlings. I'm Cognac with Elaine, and we are here at the Long Island International Film Expo. I'm here with the filmmaker, and another fascinating gentleman with this movie is really all about. It's about Amish world, my Amish world. And this young lady is the filmmaker. She's going to introduce herself to the camera. Yes, I'm Kasha Fawcett. I'm a co-producer and actress in the film. Okay, now tell my audience about the film. Can you tell, it's about your life, really. Yes, it is. I'll, I'll try to do a long story short from, it's a very underdog type of story, huge underdog story. Um, my name's Samuel Wickey, and um, I grew up as an Amish child, and uh, the challenges were, um, I had an unusual, uh, I had an autistic tendencies, and I had an unusual ability to sculpt, which was very forbidden, it's totally forbidden by the Amish, my parents actually questioned whether or not I was saying, or they thought I might have been possessed. And Yeah, and I know. I know a little bit about that. The special talents or special things. Yeah. They don't really understand that. Right, right. The, the, and, and then the OCD made them wonder if I was possessed as well. And then the good thing about this story, the inspirational part is that even though it's forbidden to sculpt in the Amish religion, in my Amish, where I came from, um, I continued sculpting anyway, and then later on was commissioned by the NFL and the NBA to make sculptures of famous athletes, which was is why the story kind of stands. You know, it's, it helped. We've won 24 best features so far, and we're very proud of it. So I'm, I'm so happy to be able to share this. Now, tell me, audience, where you uh, all the wonderful you won so many 24. Uh, in what cities? What neighborhoods? What states? Florida. We were in Moscow. We were. Oh, wow, Moscow. Yes. In England, UK, I mean, all over the Canada. world, Canada. Canada, yeah, California, um, um, yeah. It's, it's like you have a disability, but you don't have a disability. <laughs> right. It, you know, I, there's a. I, I manage it. <laughs> I mean, I've learned how to manage it. There is a film festival in New York about people that have disabilities in really? New York City. The, yeah, look into that. Okay. Okay. The, um, the sculpting was was a was a gift. I call it a gift from God because I was able to sculpt on an unusual level, and then that's with no training. I was able to do those sculptures for the athletes, for the famous athletes in the NFL and NBA, um, which was a huge honor to. Um, and they actually nationally televised some of those award ceremonies, um, which is, you know, it's, it's some of the word of mouth is that they, people like to talk about things like that so we we love to share that and it's, and it's a huge honor to be able to share um what i've been able to accomplish after going through the dark part of the amish and exactly now if you want to learn more information about this film where can we go what is the website myamishworld.com or we have a facebook page say the same thing my amish world fabulous thank you so much. <laughs> thank you Thank you. Oh my God, that's a big there's, hug. There's a, there is a trailer right there on that website, myamishworld.com. Yes. We will look, we will look, <laughs> and we will be back in a moment, darling. So more interviews right here at the Long Thank Island you. International Film Expo. Keep watching. Pink champagne kisses. Happy birthday, Marie. Don't you say that to her. Amy's mother says it to Amy. And they will stand before God one day. And Sarah, did you hug an English friend while you were in town? He begged. He hugged. I think Samuel might be Possessed. Possessed? Samuel needs to see a special doctor. Sarah, no! Your faith should be in We God. at least want to see what they say. You will be excommunicated! I don't Sarah, know your what church, to do! From your house! From your family! Samuel! How could he just turn a lump of clay into a person like that? Sarah, 
We're gonna leave the Amish. No, Jake! We will go to confession and make it right! Look at what's happening to our kids at school just because they are Amish! We keep trying to tell you they hurt us, but you won't listen! Hey, what's up, crow people? You see those kids over there? You see, you see those kids over there? Huh? Do ya? Take a look! See those faces? My parents never hugged me or my siblings because they were not allowed. I want to break that Amish rule. Welcome back, darlings. I'm Cognac Walla Lane, and we are here at the Long Island International Film Expo. I'm here with this lovely lady. She is a filmmaker, I believe. Well, well no. an actress? I'm, I'm an actress, yes. Okay. Tell my audience about the film, uh, your film that's being seen here at the Long Island International Film Expo. It's called In the House of Paper Flowers, and I am the narrator. Um, a friend of mine, uh, Anita George, is the filmmaker. She's made some beautiful films, and this is the first time she's done an animation. Mm -hmm. She's done claymation, but this is animation, and it's just a beautiful story, a true story about her and her dog and her cats mm -hmm. and, and um, an experience that they had, which brings home the truth of circle of life, the love of you know pets and what they mean to us and it's it's just really beautiful I, I don't want to give it all away don't we, <laughs> we want to see the film tell my audience is there a website that we could go to to find out more information there's a Facebook page in the house of paper flowers and it there is a trailer there fabulous so it tells you more about it give me a kiss darling. Oh, thank you. we'll be back in a moment darlings with more interviews right here at the long island international film expo keep watching pink champagne kisses <laughs> Welcome back, darlings. I'm Cognac Willa Lane, and we are here at the Long Island International Film Expo. I'm here with one of the gentlemen that's, his film is being shown here. It's called The Parking Spot. Yes. Introduce yourself, darling. Hi, my name is uh, Mario Corey, and I am the writer, director, actor, producer of The Parking Spot. Tell my audience, what this is an interesting title. What does this mean, The Parking Spot? What is this? Is it a short film or a feature? It's a short film, but it's actually an episodic. It's, um, it's eight episodes, and it's right now it's in, uh, being looked at by several major networks. Fabulous. <laughs> yeah. It's really, really well, exciting. The title will draw you in right away, The Parking Spot. I love it. <laughs> Sounds... <laughs> I had problem with the parking spot just now. I was worried Everybody about my. I was worried about spot. my car. I mean, I'm coming to the festival. I want. Were. I don't want to get a ticket. You know what I mean? <laughs> Tell my audience where can we go to find out more information about this one. You guys have a website. Uh, no, you can go to Facebook.com, uh, the parking spot, and uh, have a trailer. And the trailer's on the the Facebook page with Beautiful. All the information about the actors and myself. Is it on Vimeo or YouTube? It is on the trailer. Is on YouTube. Okay, we'll download it and put it on the, we'll put it in, right in between the interview, right here. Don't worry, you'll find the parking spot soon. Fabulous, <laughs> give me a kiss. We'll be back in a moment, darlings. More interviews right here at the International Film Festival. Keep watching.
Welcome back, darlings. I'm Cognac with Elaine, and we are here at the Long Island International Film Expo. And I am here with this wonderful honoree. He's a filmmaker, he's a director, and he's also he's also being honored tonight, Mr. John Andrew Gallagher. And he's going to talk about his lifetime achievements in filmmaking. So, Mr. Gallo, you must be thrilled that you're receiving an award this evening. It's really an honor at this particular festival because uh, you know, as a little kid, I grew up in Baldwin, just right down the road. Oh, my God, so did my husband. Yeah. My husband had, yeah, my husband's family had a beach house uh -huh. in, uh, in Baldwin. And, you know, back in the 60s, you know, before VHS and retrospective cinemas, uh to learn about movies by watching them, you had to uh, watch movies on TV. Yes, I, uh, I, that's why I wanted to be in show business, because that's all I did was watch movies on TV. I used to get straight A's so that my parents would let me set the alarm clock for 2 o'clock in the morning to watch Citizen Kane or the Marx Brothers. And uh, when I was... 22 exactly 40 years ago this month I was directing my very first feature and I've since made 40 films 20 features 20 shorts as either a writer director or a producer and uh, it's great to be recognized you know uh, I've had films at this festival in the past it's a wonderful festival. It Actually, is a wonderful festival. I agree with you. You know, the quality of the programming. Uh, Deborah Markowitz has done an extraordinary job. And, you know, we worked with Deborah uh, on a movie I directed called The Deli and another one called Blue Moon with Rita Moreno and uh, Ben Gazzara and Zach Braff. And she got us locations in Nassau County on both films. So she's really a, a gem. And uh, so it's especially meaningful to me to get this particular this Award. particular honor. Yeah. yeah, this honor. Now you've worked with some fabulous actors. Tell my, there's a huge roster of actors you've worked with. Uh, tell us a little, some more about some of the, fil the actors, the uh, film actors you've worked with. Well, you know, uh, growing up as a film nerd, I, I, what did I know about acting? Nothing, other than, you know, I loved, you know, Gary Cooper. Looks so easy, Cagney. right? But it's not. You know, and I, my first two movies, one was a, a beach movie, the other was an action movie, so I didn't know from actors until I directed some theater, and, uh, and I learned, you know, to speak. I thought that there was a secret language that actors had that we didn't know, and it was, uh, not until I directed some theater uh, and then started teaching acting for the camera that you know I learned about actors and how to get a good performance. Certainly, uh, I've been blessed with a terrific casting director named Judy Henderson, and she would bring in people like John Leguizamo, one of his first movies, his first starring role. You know, so yeah, I cast him, but she brought him in. Same thing with Zach Braff. Zach had made maybe one other film when he came in, but you know, the, 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 you see the talent is right there in front of you. And he's, of course, had a sensational career. Um, then there's the kind of naturalistic type actors like Frank Vincent, may he rest in peace, who I did a number of films with. I've directed so many of the S Sopranos. Uh, Frank, Vinnie Pastore, Tony Sirico, Michael Imperioli, they're just naturals. They don't, and that really is the key, you know, for acting on film, is basically don't act, don't think, just do, just be. You don't have to, it's, it's the, That's really the secret, just be yourself. That's it. Just and, memorize your lines, well, of course. Don't bump into the furniture. I mean, yeah. <laughs> And you, um, I, I went to acting school myself, and she said, use everything that around you as a prop. 
Use everything because you people. If you're if you're in a, talking to somebody or if you're doing anything, you know you're just not like staring at the person. You know you're moving. You're putting lipstick on. You're fixing your hat. Or she says you you have to always use your environment as your prop. And and use whatever technique works best for you. I'm a big believer in the Meisner technique because what Meisner is about repetition. Well, that's what movie acting is. Repeating, 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 take one, take two, take three. Um, but again, whatever whatever works for you. Uh, you know, guys like Frank Vincent, for example, you know, best known probably for Billy Bats in Goodfellas, and he was Phil Leotardo in The Sopranos. Um, f- someone like Frank just made it look easy. You know, he wasn't a trained actor. He didn't go to conservatory. He was really from, you know, this school of life. And just by being himself and finding the character, you know, within uh, was really the key. I mean, look, you know, if I cast you as a serial killer, I know you're not a serial killer. Um, but By looking at me, I look like a sweet, pretty blonde, right? There you go. So... You know, you, but you have to find that character within you. And that's a big part of the director's job is to help you find that character. You know, you know I remember watching a movie with Marilyn Monroe. And she always played like the sexy bomb bombshell because she was like one of my idols. But she played in a movie where she was a psychopath. What was the name of that picture? That's uh, Don't Bother to yes, Knock. Don't Bother to Knock. I think that was the best movie she was ever in, that really. Was against, she was know, very good actress. Listen, you know, uh, Hitchcock believed very strongly in casting against type. And I, I believe that, too. Um, there's a movie coming out that I directed last year called Sarah Q. And we've got... Uh, from The Sopranos, Tony Sirico, Vinnie Pastore, Federico Castelluccio, Willie DeMeo, Artie Pasquale. They're all playing against type. They're playing teachers. Um, and, and, you know, uh, Burt Young... the Young problem with Marilyn Monroe is they didn't... The, 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 the public didn't want to see her in a serious book. They wanted to see her being sexy. Exactly. And Don't Bother to Knock, which was 1952, predates, you know, the movie that, that really established her as a, a sex kitten was Niagara. Yes, I remember. A year later, you know, and then, you know... That's probably why she got Niagara, because she was in Don't Bother to Knock. You know, and just, uh, you know, the seven-year itch, and, you know, was, and, and, and it, it, what she had to do to get a, a different type of character, she had to leave, she had to wait till her contract was up at 20th. And consequently, you know, that's how she, you know, got to do The Misfits. Tell my audience, we're running out of time. Tell my audience, who was your favorite actor of all time? My favorite actor of all time is probably Gary Cooper. Really? Gary Cooper, who is a little on the forgotten side these days, but of course was... I know who he is. Yeah, but, you know, he's one of the biggest movie stars of, of all time. I liked him in that movie with Ingrid Bergman. Uh, she played a French. Well, he did two with her. He did uh, Saratoga Trunk. Saratoga Trunk in that. '45, and for whom the bell tolls in '43. Yeah. No, I like Saratoga Trunk. Yeah, yeah. That's my favorite movie with him and, and Ingrid Bergman. And he's a classic example of naturalistic yes. acting. Yes. Who do you think is comparable to him today? Well, I mean, there's some wonderful actors today, like you know Ryan Gosling. Always does a good job, and. Uh, you know, uh, Bobby Downey and, and uh, uh, is terrific. Um, I worked with him in one of his very first movies. His father was kind of a mentor to me, Bob Sr. Um, you know, every year, you know, there's some fantastic actress today. What about actress? Who do you think is a fabulous actress that you want to do a movie with right now? Um, well, my f- I consider Jenna Rollins... Who okay. I had the opportunity to interview um, is as the best American actress ever, with uh, Natalie Wood, particularly oh, in that. *Splendor in the Grass*. The last scene of which was shot out in Patchogue, by the way. That, 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 oh my God! I didn't 
know that. Goes to see Warren Beatty um, at the end of the movie. That was shot in Patrick. That was a New York movie. Uh, yeah, and uh, she's amazing. Tell my audience, if we want to learn more about your films, do you have a website? Do you have a Facebook page? I'm on do you Facebook have a, tell my and audience. Twitter. Uh, Facebook and Twitter. and. Uh, John Andrew Gallagher is that John, just John Gallagher is fine. And, and go to IMDB. IMDb yes darling will, I do all the time yeah that'll that'll tell you that what if, we, what if somebody has a great movie script that should could we come to you and present it to you uh, I generally write my own stuff but uh, you know I, I you, sure I mean drop me a line my well, my info is on IMDb Pro. Um, it may take me a while to get back to you. I prefer to read a synopsis. Okay. It's not know. me that has the movie idea. It's a friend of mine. He's an actor. Maybe I should tell him about you. Why By all not, means. Right? Sure. You never know, right? You never know. And with that note, give me a big kiss, darling. Mm. Mwah. And we'll be back in a moment with more interviews right here at the Long Island International Film Expo. Keep watching. Pig Champagne Kisses. Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. Well, now it's time for the Cognac Show. dressed to impress one of a kind girl I was brought into this world wrapped up in pearls I love to mingle though my husband reminds me I'm not single I meet and greet both the famous and the elite I ride in limousines drinking the finest champagne wearing fur dazzling diamond jewelry a girl can't complain I live in upscale life dining in the finest restaurants eating the best caviar for free and no matter how much I eat cognac ooh ooh I sip cognac ooh 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 this has been a crybaby productions darlings